My BFI player choice this week is a strange 70s British film that's haunted me ever since I stumbled upon it on late night television sometime in the mid 80s. A twisted Oedipal drama that had been the subject of X-rated notoriety on its original release, the film caught me completely off guard, leaving me bewildered, horrified, tantalised and not a little confused. Emotions that still define my reactions to the sailor who fell from grace with the sea. This is the core, the centre of life that makes the pose possible. Beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? Fantastic. Adapted from a 60s novel by Yukio Mishima, the first of his books to be brought to the screen in the English language, American writer-director Carlino's eerie film transposes the overheated action from Japan to the UK in the coastal town of Dartmouth. Here, Sarah Miles' widowed Anne Osborne becomes erotically involved with a sailor named Jim Cameron, played by Chris Christopherson. Their romance awakens jealous desires in Anne's son Jonathan, whose friendship group includes the sadistically callous Chief, played by Earl Rhodes. When Jim returns from the sea and resumes his relationship with Anne, Jonathan reveals his jealousy to Chief with terrible results. He gave his soul to the sea and his heart to a woman, ran the film's publicity tagline, which teased potential audiences with the promise that their love will arouse you, the story will disturb you, the ending will startle you. To which I would add that the film's oddly fetid tone will also creep you out as it swings between post-don't-look-now exploitation and emotional exhumation. There's a touch of the wicker man in the film's depiction of human emotion versus implacable ritual, combining the structural elements of a Greek tragedy with pre-echoes of Ian McEwan's The Comfort of Strangers, all viewed through the steely prism of Mishima's writing all of which makes this perhaps the strangest and most disturbing film ever made in Devon. Critics were divided about the movie, which earned Golden Globe nominations for Sarah Miles and Jonathan Kahn, and it's easy to see why. This is not for everyone. But if you're in the mood for something genuinely out of the ordinary, then give it a go, if you dare.